Hello, thanks for clicking. I think learning and understanding something over and over is one of the really fun things and can give us the joy of growing up. So far in that sense, Brenda's Gris Pencil has brought us a lot of fun. And now Blender stimulates our creativity with another G initial feature. Yes, geometry node. Today, we will create the effect with now using a geometry node. With Blender, we can literally implement anything we can think of. But in fact, what really matters is how easily and quickly we can implement it. No matter how wonderful the result is, if it is too difficult to implement, or if it is easy but takes too long time, we should think again. The fastest way to achieve the effect we see now in Blender is with Grease Pencil. However, when crafting with Grease Pencil, it is possible to do some additional work using the modifier, but it is limited. There are still some tricky parts to make with the geometry nodes at first, but the possibilities for extending the output to the basics are endless. So, let's briefly summarize what we needed to know to implement this kind of effect. First, like the drawing function of the grease pencil, we should be able to draw a curved mesh freely. Second, the drawn curved mesh should be duplicated radially at the same time. Third, the drawn lines should start to fade slowly as they are drawn. Now, Let's look at the process of implementing this effect with Grease Pencil first. After creating Grease Pencil object by clicking Shift A, simply draw a line in Draw mode. After applying the Array modifier, the number of objects to be duplicated is 30. After turning on the Randomize option, rotate 360 degrees on the y-axis. Then, the shape that extends radially like this is completed. And for the animation effect, apply the build modifier. I want to spread all at once, so I change the mode to concurrent. After duplicating the build modifier, change the transition mode to fade. The line will then disappear as soon as it is drawn. We can adjust the length of the line by adjusting the start delay value of the second bit of fire. And if we draw freely while playing, we can implement the following effects in real time. It's very easy and simple. We can also apply a modifier to achieve a thickness or multiple strokes. This time, we will implement a similar effect with a geometry node. Click the geometry node tab, delete the default cube, and add a bezier curve object. Select this bezier curve object and create a new geometry node tree. First, to make this bezier curve look thick, add a curve to mesh node. After adding a curve circle, Connect it to the profile curve socket of curve to mesh. A thin mesh is created according to the drawn lines. To adjust the thickness of the drawn mesh, add a set curve radius node. Add a trim curve node for the drawing effect. And duplicate the trim curve node once in the same way that you apply the build modifier twice with the grease pencil. Through the start and end options, we can get the effects of drawing and disappearing. Now let's implement the effect of spreading radially. There are various ways to implement the radially spreading effect, but this time we'll use the mesh line node. Add on mesh line node and set the count to around 30.
If we set the offset value to 0, 30 points are gathered in the middle. Add the instance on points node. Connect the node group mesh created earlier to the instance socket. After adding an index node, a separate XYZ node, and a combined XYZ node. By connecting the Y axis to the rotation value, a radial shape appears. Now for the drawing and disappearing effect, click the end tab of the first trim curve and select hashtag frame divide 50. Enter hashtag frame divide 90 in the start value of the second trim curve node. We can achieve the following effects by drawing freely while playing the timeline. To implement a glowing effect, add an emission material. And connect a set material node. We can check various effects in real time while playing the timeline. I hope you can find inspiration for unexpected ideas. Those with a solid mathematical foundation will be able to implement the same expression much more easily than this. To me, geometry node and speaking English is really hard. However, I think that one of the greatest pleasures of life is to keep trying things that seem difficult and hard and to get used to them at some point. Thank you so much to everyone who patiently listened to this English tutorial. Thank you for all your time.